Hey YouTube, Pokemon Design here. Today I will be showing you how to fix iBooks on, I on Joe Baruch iOS 5.0 and 5.0.1. All the programs you'll need are iFile and your i your Joe Baruch iDevice and iPad Box. What you're gonna if you already had iBooks installed and and you had opened it already just go ahead and delete that and reinstall right now off the bat it has to be brand just freshly downloaded never open then you're going to get open up iFile once in iFiles you're going to iFile you're going to want to go to the root directory which is a forward slash the whole way back and then you're going to want to go to var and in var you're going to want to find the mobile folder and then you're going to want to go to applications. Now you're going to search for your iBooks folder, which once you're inside, it'll just say iBooks.app. Yours won't be the same as mine, and I have to find mine. Um, it'll look like that iBooks.app. Then you're going to want to go ahead and edit, tap on iBooks, then you're going to want to hit the little clipboard, and then copy the link. Then you're going to hit done, and go the whole way back to the root directory. Then you're going to go into the applications folder, edit, whoops, sorry, yeah, you're going to hit edit, tap the clipboard, then hit paste going to copy iBooks into the folder. Once it's in there, you're going to want to go into the folder. Let me find it really quick. iBooks. You're going to want to look for info.plist. It's going to take a while because there's a lot of other files before it. Oops, passed it. Info.plist. You're gonna then you you just tap on it and go to property list view. Then you're going to find uh, bun CF bundle identifier. And right after that, you're going to just type fix, like so. If you can read that. Then you're just going to want to go back, done, going to go the whole way back. Alright, now that you have that done, you're just going to want to go ahead and respring your device, however you do that. I use a uh, something that I had downloaded for my notification center. You could also use SB settings, whatever you like. Uh, and once it's resprung, you're going to have two, icon, two iBooks icons. There's going to be a round edged, edged one and a square one. Just give IntelliScreen X a moment here for to, to uh, initialize. Uh, the round edged one this is the one that you can delete because that's the old. I guess you could say broken one. The square one right there is the one you're going to be keeping. So I'm going to go ahead and delete iBooks. And you can open it up and it'll go right in. Now this doesn't sync to iTunes so that's a fair fair warning for all of you. And uh, when it, if you had any books installed already before you jailbroke it, it should show up in here. If not, um, I will be showing you how to. I will be showing you how to uh, put them in. So as you can see, I have dust and decay in there already. But I'm going to show you how to. This is just one of my other books I had downloaded. What you're going to want to do is you you want to go to on uh, you want to plug your iPod in if you have to your computer if you already haven't. Then go to raw file systems. 
in raw files, then you're going to want to go to var. Double click that. Um, what did the mobile, wherever that is, right there, and then documents. Inside of here, you're just going to want to drag and drop whatever book you want in there. Like, I'm going to put one of these folklores in there. There it is. And then you want to go back to iFile on your on your iDevice. Then you go to you print you just go to the exact same folder var slash mobile farm mobile documents just like you did on your computer. And then from there you're going to find your book right there's mine folklore and legends and you're gonna hit open in iBooks and then it should open up the book for complete use as soon as it loads obviously but this isn't really iBooks itself it's just kind of a uh, skip fix. Not, it's not a full fix, but it still allows you to use it. You can also uh, delete your books from there, I do believe, or maybe not. I don't. But anyway, there you have it, your uh, iBooks complete fix. Now, if you want, I uh, can show you. You know what? I, I will not show you guys this right now, but I will eventually if you would like me to how to turn the icon back into the nor into a round edged one. Uh, so stay tuned for that, but hope this helped all you iBooks users out there. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.